Good morning. I feel like one of the hardest things to do is getting used to waking up at a normal hour again and sleeping at a normal one. Like, I actually managed to get over seven hours of sleep for the past few days. That doesn't happen. College is ruining me. People ask me how I style my hair. Okay, I comb it and then I put a bit of water and I. I'm gonna take a piss now, bye. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, you know, I love this lighting. It's really giving the ceased. Hello, Exalots, you little pieces of fungus. Apologies for the bad quality, but my mic isn't working because of the power outage. So we're going off this based on just iPhone speaker quality. Anyway, so some of you may know this, but... <laughs> Ya yeah, boy is finally in college. <laughs> finally, after a year of just drifting about, I am thrusted, that's a funny word to say, into the land of socialization and education, the two layers of hell. Now, I had aspirations of style back then when I thought about future me in college. I want to look like that iconic cool guy on campus, looking cute even if I was losing my shit. Therefore, I decided to change up my looks a bit by wearing contacts on the first few days. <music> I know, I know, boo, boo, okay, we're, what is this, the princess diaries moment? It resulted in me looking like I either went through 10 divorces or I was doing some questionable breathing exercises before class. <sighs> I think there was like a grain of sand in the contacts. The fit for the day was a simple short sleeve 2D and black pants because outside of classrooms, it's 30 degrees Celsius and inside of them, it's suddenly Canada. After that, I grabbed my keys and off we go to campus. Hold on, rewind. Yes, I know what you're going to say. Feline, how could you wear a bracelet that's the color of Satan's piss? And while I understand the running gag of shitting on green in this channel, I was looking at these bracelets the other day with my friends and they told me that this specific crystal would bring me wealth and luck. And do I look like someone who would abandon my morals for a little bit of money? Yes, of course I am. I'm taking business, for God's sake. Sorry, my friend called me just now. Apparently all the lights and power went off on our campus and uh, they smell smoke. So, I love college. I then put on my booties, trying my best to avoid showing the scandalous feet fingers. And could we take a moment to appreciate the strawberry socks? Yes, I know, my drip has been immaculate since the last video. And then it was on to the lift we go. Someone else happened to be on the lift with me and I gotta say, being alone on the lift with someone else with no elevator music is the most awkward experience known to mankind. It should be illegal. I can't scroll through my phone because I'm filming and he wasn't scrolling through his phone either. So we were both just staring at the lift number going down, constantly aware of how eager the both of us are to get out of this metal box floating in the sky. The act of watching the number go down basically insinuates I cannot wait to get out of here and never see you again. And we're out! Wow, this is a lovely view, I must say. I am really feeling the your name, freedom, independent life here. Oh god, finally, there's some specks of light. <laughs> we're no longer in the dark days, fellas. And god, it's like five storms going on at the same time. Okay, turns out it wasn't just my apartment. The entirety of Malaysia had no power. The entirety of the entire country. So there I was walking around like an anime protagonist with like the, little le the trees behind me and the cement on the ground. Oh, and all my shoelaces untied. Oh, this, this is annoying to watch. I was crossing a busy road. How have, I, how have I lived this long? Soon after, I arrived and met my friends on the little benches in our campus. If you recognize what college I go to, don't write it down. Like, people, if you recognize it, that's fine, that's one thing. But there are people who will actively try to spread it around just to taunt me. And if you do that, I will bite your kidney off. Freedom is a really huge difference, I noticed in college. Like, you're telling me I don't have to have compulsory school uniforms anymore? <coughs> and I can bring food and my electronic devices anywhere? Without them getting confiscated? What is this witchcraft? Oh 
no, no. As you can see, this is the life of hashtag adult college students. We realize at this point that existence is nothing more than darkness and apathy. Ignore, ignore, the, ignore the tote bag with the huge hedgehogs on it. We focus on nothing more but academics and stress about the current economy. Oh, that's my Among Us badge. Life is a cruel test where we're thrown out of the bird's nest. Never really ready enough. Oh, and that's a minion's water bottle. I arrived 30 minutes early, but we all somehow lost track of time and we ended up with only 5 minutes to get to class. No, because how are we 30 minutes early? But we're fine. We get to be late also. Thankfully, we made it there with a minute to spare. The main difference I see between college and high school in terms of the classrooms are how much bigger they are, and there's no assigned seats. No one tells you where to sit. You can literally leave gaps between like the seats and the teacher won't be like, hey, come to the front, pack it all up. Because this is college, no one cares about anything. I have no explanation for that. The first week is always fun because we literally just do icebreakers for the most part. And ya yeah boy is a hashtag certified. I'm never doing that again. YouTuber who is amazing in the skills of social butterflyness and extroversion. Uh, ignore how I have to hype myself up for literally just attendance and my fidget pose of the day was somehow a punchy motion. And praying? I don't know about you, but that conveys a high level of friendliness to me. We have to do self-introductions, and you know how you usually giggle when your friends turn us down, yeah? you poke fun at them a bit? Well, I didn't have enough time to laugh at her, because the teacher called on me immediately after. I'm a very open-minded person, I'm, and I'm also a good listener. <laughs> uh, advertising and branding. Yeah. I uh, I think self awareness, and I place a lot of value in communications. Also, there's vending machines in college. How cool is that? If you're in high school and you already have a vending machine. Just Listen, back then, I had to line up for 30 minutes to get a little snack. <laughs> back in my days, back in my days, I had to climb out Mount Fuji, climb back down, crawl past the Grand Canyon, and fight the founder of my college himself in order to get to class. Another thing, like th this was the hugest surprise I ever saw. Uh, lecturers can literally let you out of class 30 minutes to an hour early. What? Depending on like how much work was planned for the day. I remember my first class, it was just introductions. And so the lecturer let us out an hour early. But when he said, oh, we're about done for the day, I really expected him to just keep us in there for the next hour, tell us to do whatever we want before letting us go. But no, we could literally just leave and go home. I was, I was mystified. I felt like a felon walking out of that classroom. On one hand, it's like, oh, awesome. I get to go home and sleep early. On the other hand, it's like, wow, my tuition fees went into this. Oh well, nap time. Hey, it's night time right now, um, a day after the previous recordings. We finally have our first homework. It's math. I'm going to whisper talk because I don't want to wake my dorm mates up. If a murderer just walked in, did it take this video as evidence? If you're confused by like what's going on with the lighting right now, some interior design expert, true master of their craft, decided to place the lights underneath the blades of the fan. So every time the fan is on, it just kind of goes... Helicopter, helicopter. Take a look at the textbook cover. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it when my... Malaysian college's textbook is some random stock image of a white guy holding a, a bunch of cash and it's not even high quality. If you're going to make me suffer in maths, at least make it high quality. Fuck you, Brendan, you ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that on the first day. Okay, hold on, I want to show you guys this. Oh. Going to college means getting a bunch of cute stuff that my mom would have complained about collecting dust. 
dust, but this time I clean my own dust, so it's none of our business. The room sent these to me, by the way. Um, it's a karaoke machine and a Bluetooth speaker. It's like 1 a.m. right now. Shut the fuck up. I just thought this was a cute little thing to add to my dorm-like setup, uh, which I will be showing you a little bit of it. So I just changed my sheets. Here is my bed. Um, the sheets used to be pink because I have an unhealthy obsession with the color, but they're getting changed, so we're sticking to this white, light peach scheme. Here is a mirror. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. And over here, oh no, hold on. And over here is my setup. Yeah, that's my math book. With which I use as a holder for my the room stuff because I have my priorities straight. The keyboard, clacky clacky, mouse pad, his name is Jason, my pencil case, and I got these recently at a convention. I just put it here because I think it's pretty. So yeah, every time I'm stressed out, I just look over here and uh, escape from reality for a bit by pretending to be a Discord kid. Ignore the trash on the floor, I'm taking that out tomorrow. This is still a work in progress happening. Uh, don't ask me why there's a random 7 up there, I'm, I'm going through something right now. Let me know if you guys are interested in a dorm tour, because I really want to do one. I'd love to show you some cool trinkets if you guys are interested. Like this. Absolutely crucial lobster puppet I have that I basically begged my dad to buy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a podcaster. I just want to say, uh, if you're a high schooler or if you're like even younger than that, and you're worried about getting into college, it's a it's a big change being independent and relying on yourself. Some people have to, had to do that from an early age. For me, uh, I'm a little bit of a weak link, you know, my parents have basically been helping me not die for the past 18 years and now I'm finally on my own. It is a very scary thing at first, there's a lot of changes but that's just how life is. You know, you tell yourself you're gonna be ready and then suddenly you just thrust it into it. There's no real preparation for anything. Either way, just know you're not alone in this, there are millions of people in the world going through the same experience as you are. It's okay to make mistakes, you know, you learn over time. Look at me, I'm so, I'm so wise now. Oh, what will my, what will my lecturer say? With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit short because I'm very busy with like new college preparations and stuff. And it's probably just gonna get worse from here. But I still hope you enjoyed it. Love you. Good night. I have class at 8.30 tomorrow.